have to say my teaching philosophy is that I integrate the adult learning theory. Um, my students are adult learners and they've had some real life experiences. So like if we're um, covering a disease process, then I try to incorporate their real life experience. Like it may not be them that they've had the disease, but it may be a family member. So they can relate to that and that it makes sense and it's important to them. I also try to make sure that my classroom is um, an encouraging environment. I try to encourage them. I try to let them know that I care about them and I'm there for them. I want them to succeed. Oh, who inspires me? I would have to say that I cannot narrow that down just to one person. There's several people that inspire me. My boys and my husband are my why every single day. Um, my parents, they've always been excellent role models and they've always supported me in anything that I do. And then my sister, um, she was diagnosed with MS five years ago and she does not let that stop her. She goes, she tries to go on with everyday life and perseveres with that disease. And then probably one of the first people, besides my parents, that inspired me would be Miss Sharon Fulling, who was the dean over the nursing department when the college was MCCC. I was a young, right out of high school student, and she believed in me and supported me, and that was very important. Oh, my favorite pastime is spending time with family, but spending time with family at the lake. We go to the lake a whole lot in the summer, North Fork Lake, and I enjoy spending time with my family and friends and being out on the boat and enjoying the lake. If I had to teach in another discipline, I think that I would choose psychology because with nursing, we want to care for the whole person, holistic nursing, and with psychology, it is the study of the mind and why we, as people, choose to do the things that we do. So I think that's what I would choose to teach. Oh, my favorite music, that's easy. Uh, country, new country right now, XM56 is what I always keep my radio on. My favorite movie would have to be Still Magnolias. I should have known back then, almost 30 years ago when that came out, that I had an interest in nursing and health in general. The last book that I read would have had to be Inspired Nurse. Actually, one of my students that just graduated this past May gave it to me, and it just makes us think about why we initially went into the nursing profession and reminds us of how important it is to be caring, compassionate individuals as nurses. If I could go anywhere, um, it would have to be Bora Bora. I love the ocean and the beach, so that's a place that I'd want to go. The best advice that I've ever received is Worrying does not change the outcome in the end. That's really important for me because if you know me, I am a worrier. Uh, my husband always says it is what it is. And in fact, he bought me a bracelet that says that, that has to remind me that of each day. A couple of things that people may not know about me is that I'm from a family of nurses. My mom and my sister are both Aryans. And then another thing that everyone may not know about me is that I came to college here when it was MCCC and graduated from the associate degree program that I'm fortunate enough to teach in now.